this is my tutorial home you just go onto the MoGraph there and click on to MoTeX then you select the text at the bottom and write what you want so I'm just going to write rain just for my name you click on font here this is my computer playing up because it's a bit shit at the moment it'll take a few seconds to get the font thing will just come up so Basically, this is just the explosive text, the text just explodes. It looks only a one second clip, but it's just a quick showing you how to do it. So, you can have, I'm going to choose Acknowledge, so I'll put that in the description, how to download the, off the font. I'll put a link, and then just press OK there. You use these three cursors at the top to like, move your thing around, so I'm just going to move that around now. To get in the right position. <coughs> As you can see, it's doing it. So I'm going to change the depth to about 70. And then I'm going to come up to the text at the top and press Ctrl C, Ctrl V. This copies and pastes it. Then you go back onto the original text and go onto Caps and fill it cap and put 10 there on the radius and do the same on the other one right okay now we're going to come to change the depth to about 30 25 30 and now we're going to turn it around and as you can see we've got like two different size fonts so we're going to come to this, these two, like that green one moves up and down, the red one moves it sideways, and this one, the yellow one, the blue one I just used, moves it backwards. As you can see, I've moved it into the middle, which looks quite a nice effect. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like right now. Okay. You can go into the materials now and make a, these materials can be our colour, you can change whatever colour you want. I'm just going to choose red and add a bit of reflection onto it which gives it quite a nice effect about 15-17% seven, I'm going to make another one that's white just for the flooring that I'm going to show you how to make in a second and you come up to this one colour I'm going to get black this time and add the same amount of reflection onto this one, so about 17%. Okay. Now we're going to close that down. Now just drag it onto the bit of the text you want to go colour. So I'm dragging onto that bit because I want it to go red. And this bit because I want it to go black. And then now to make the floor, you just come up to this bit here in a second and it'll show. There's no floor down, so you come up to here, click onto there, and plane. You come over to here and just put as many digits in as you want, just so that it fills the whole screen. Okay, when you've done that, you drag the white onto it. As you can see, it's done it. So now when you look at it, it's white. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to do some lighting effects. Or are we doing the shot? I'll do the shot. Right, okay, so we're going to go to the explosive. And we're going to want to press control and click on these two tags. Hold control, click on explosion. Keep hold of control and highlight them all. To press Alt G to put it into one of these. And then you click on the explosion, and then stay like, you've got the strength here. And if you put it higher, it starts ex evaporating, exploding. So we're going to take that back down to zero. Now for the timeline, we come down here, you see the zero there. You're going to want to press control and click on the strength there, the little box. And then we're going to come down to the timeline and have out how long you want it to take, the explosion to take. So 30 is one second. So we're going to put it to 100 now, and then click, and it'll go to yellow, and press control again, and it'll go to red. 
and click. So now if I press play, I've got that effect. So now I'm going to go back. And we're going to go for play again, just show you again. Right. Now we need to do some lighting. So we're going to click to the light here. Just drag it above the text. Yeah, I think this is quite a nice effect that you're going to get from this now. So we're going to go to the lens in the settings for the light down in the bottom corner, lens, and go on the glow and do it on high 8. Once we've done that, we'll go on edit. This takes a while to load. Okay, once you've done edit, yep. Yeah. I'm going to click on the colour. I'm going to have it red. So I think it matches with the colour we've already got. Press OK, and as you can see now, it's a red glow. Press OK. Now we're just going to reduce the glow, because it can be too big sometimes, and just take the font away, so we'll put it on like 75. Okay, now we've done that, we'll just click off, and I'll show you what it looks like. So you get that nice effect there. So now we're going to get another light because the text is going to be dull at the front and pull it about here. Just rummage around so you can find your best spot, which you think looks best. I prefer the corner normally. So I'm just going to go to the corner. Eventually. <laughs> right, so the corner. So I chose the corner. As you can see now, as I've added like light onto the text and a bit more brightness, so you can read it more. It looks better. It explodes like that. So I'm gonna go on to render now for when you're finished. And these are the settings I use. I think these are very effective and work good and do the frames quite fast. So you want to go on to out, Output and go on to the YouTube size that are best fit YouTube. Screen, just click on, that's the wrong one. Oops. Right, click on to the 1 to 80 and then change the bottom one to 720. And then that's that bit done. Oh no, we need to go on the current frame and put it on all frames. So it renders all the frames. And can do 50 frames. 40 frames, sorry. And now we're going to go to the save bit. This is where you want to save it. You're going to click on there. And it'll load up. Okay, there we go. And now we're going to want to go on to the save file. And we're going to call it... I'll have to call mine intro one. Okay, now I'm going to go down to here and put it onto AVI Movie. And then you want to go on Options. Should take a while to load, and there we go. Should load about now. And then we're going to want to click on the Intel IUIV codec, whatever it is. I'm going to go onto the Options, and Ray Depth to 10th, and the Shadow Depth to 10th. And that's the settings that you need. So now we're going to close this down. Save the settings for you. And you want to click this box here. This is the render box. Just put this back to the start. Just going to click that box there. As you can see, it's almost, you just click it. And it comes up like this. It starts rendering your clip. This should take about five minutes. The longer the clip, obviously, the longer it takes. Thanks for watching my intro. Subscribe.